Weeks after it began, the electoral process continues to retain its gloss. Yet another heavy turnout expected in the third and final round of parliamentary voting taking place this week. Expected, too, that the Muslim Brotherhood will maintain its position as Egypt's dominant movement. Its political arm, the Freedom and Justice Party, has established an overwhelming lead after the first two rounds of balloting. In second place is the Islamist al nur Party, with the moderate secular movements languishing a long way behind. The question is, though, what kind of governing coalition the Freedom and Justice Party will attempt to form? Will it look to the hardline Salafists and create a strongly Islamist bloc? Or will it turn to the liberal moderates and create a coalition more secular? The question, too, is whether a victorious Muslim Brotherhood will finally come head to head with the military that holds all power. The harsh treatment of protesters continuing to fuel public anger and a movement that to date has been largely conciliatory towards the army leaders may well be emboldened by its electoral support to change its stance and join with those who've been demanding a speedier handover to civilian governance. But regardless of what happens, those in poverty-stricken areas like Shubra Alkhima have the highest of hopes of better days to come. A year ago, the idea of a government dominated by the Muslim Brotherhood was unthinkable. The greatest evidence of change is that this type of government is now inevitable. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, in Central Egypt.